boys and girls? My name is Strawberry Magic. You ask why? Well, that's easy. Magic because I was born in Magic Land. And Strawberry, well, I really don't know why. Not everyone has a name that fits him. You're probably asking what I'm doing here. Well, in Magic Land, where all the magic in the world is made, we work very hard. Making magic is not at all a simple task. You know that. And so, from time to time, when I get tired, I sneak out through the secret tunnel and come here for a rest. What can I do? I tire so easily. Strawberry magic. And while Lazy Strawberry fell into a deep sleep under the tree, a group of children sat in their classroom working on their end-of-the-year school party. And now, I'll assign you your tasks. Bill, you'll be the clown. Oh, boy! Dan, you'll be the dancer. That's great! Bob, you'll sing. I just love to sing. Ronnie, you'll be a magician. A magician? But... But... you will collect. And if you have any problems, you can call on me for help. 
Remember, in order to make magic, you will have to collect three items. If you want to return home, close the suitcase by clicking on the top part of the screen. In the meantime, I'll rest here. Good luck. to Magic Land to exactly the same place in which you left, open the suitcase and choose the place using the arrows. Hello everyone, Repixelated here, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, we are playing a Strawberry Magic, and yes, I'm replaying the intro. I'm actually replaying this whole entire segment because I realized in my first video of the commentary, I was incredibly low, which is something that I don't normally do a lot of now. Usually I've got the volume worked out pretty well. But yes, I am restarting this, and for those of you who are wondering if I'm going to continue the series, yes I am. Uh, I've just had a lot of my videos demonetized and it's been kind of discouraging. So I haven't uploaded in a really, really long time, and it's because I have had to think about other content to create and put up. And I actually have some really cool ideas that will be coming out really soon. Uh, I'm going to be working over the holidays on uh, putting some more videos up. I've also been overwhelmed with work, so that's also another reason why videos haven't been coming up a little bit too. But, yeah, all of my videos have been demonetized except for Strawberry Magic. Yay! So you guys get to still see that. Unfortunately, I still haven't been able to make an ISO. I just cannot make one. And I apologize for those of you who've been asking. So, uh, if I find a link, I will leave it in the description below and you might be able to download an ISO for this game. And I think that's about it that I need to really mention. Uh, Stardew Valley will still be going up, um, but there'll be new content, and I need to make it uh, advertiser friendly. So basically, kitty stuff. Woo! But we can make this fun. Uh, we're going to restart this game because just simply, I, <laughs> I. Yes, we want to go back to Magic Land. Just simply because. Yeah, it just didn't work out too well. So we're going to restart the game. If you choose the option begin again, all the magic you learned will disappear. Are you certain that you want to do that? Yes, I am very much certain because... I want to begin from the beginning. Yeah. Alright. So we're going to start from the beginning here. We're going to do what we did before. I don't remember this game still and what I'm doing. So we're going to be starting from the beginning and just going over to the police house and... Yeah, just doing that. I'm sorry, I, I'm really tired. I've just come home from work and I just had time to do this. How can I help you? Phew! They still haven't discovered who let the air out of the tires on their police bikes. Really, Mr. Policeman? Are you prepared to help me? Of course. It's a policeman's job to help everyone who asks for our help. Look, while I can't say that you're an outstanding magician, you're not like those in there. Have you lost something, Strawberry? Uh, well, uh, actually, I did. That is, I didn't really lose the magic, but I'm looking for it. You've always been a funny one. How could you have lost the magic, silly? How can you lose something you don't have? That's true, but I am looking for the magic. I can only get my wish through this magic. Very good. At least you're on the right track. You know you need the magic to have all your wishes come true. Not like the prisoners there inside who don't think you need magic in order to get your wishes. They steal wishes that have come true from other magicians. They're locked up in those cells to make sure they don't harm anyone else. But they're causing me to suffer. I have to guard them, and I'm pretty tired of it. I'd really like to get out for a break. Could you guard them for me for a little while? I don't know, this isn't really um, a policeman's job to go and have a break. I mean, they should be guarding, but okay, we'll do it. Uh, so, yeah. I think I can remember how this worked from the last time I played it. I think the one gripe about this game is the fact that it's really handholdy, and as a kid I didn't notice it, but now it's really it irks me. Please meet Junior Cop, the student policeman. He's new here and isn't familiar with his job yet. Pleased to meet you, Junior Cop. He looks exactly like the other cop. 
Did anyone else notice that? Look, Strawberry. There is a prisoner in each cell. Although they are being punished, we don't want them to be sad. So we allow them to meet visitors. Oh, they're special Whenever little snowflakes. Goes on over a cell, this means that visitors have arrived and you have to open the cell door. Send Junior Cop there and press the button to open the door. If you don't open the cell door, a red light will go on. And a short time later, it will start blinking. If by then you don't open the door, the prisoner will burst out crying and refuse to come out. Oh well, Stiff Cheddar, they're lost. When the visit is over, a red light goes on over the door of the visitor's room. And you must quickly send Junior Cop. If you do not do this quickly, the prisoners will escape and disappear as fast as you can bat an eye. As fast as 95 windows will allow it to run. To see how much more time you have left until the end of the mission. All right, let's start. Let's do this. Okay, get your butt over there. And if I remember correctly, I have to press this twice, and he hasn't. You're gonna go. You're gonna open the door. There we go. Congrats. They move incredibly slow in this game. The sound is very staticky too, which is kind of bothersome. There we go. Oh, we better go over here. We don't want them to escape. Because they could do that. Get out. Get back in your cell. Weird man who looks the same as all the other people in here. And he moves faster than this one. Yes, yes, out you come. Well, that was interesting. That actually went by really quickly. Repetitive music. The shift, passed with no problem. the shift didn't actually finish. There's still a quarter of an hour left on the clock, but okay. That's nice. Woo! Strawberry, very good. You have been a very good policeman. Want to see the magic? Here, no. The magicless strawberry turns into a brave policeman. That's not magic. Point you a policeman in Magic Land, and here are your missions. One. The string of pearls that belongs to Abretta, the magician's daughter, has been found. Take it back to her. Two, Abra the magician's hat has been stolen. We have an identical picture of the thief. Go to the school for beginner magicians and try to find him using this identical picture. Goodbye and good luck, honest citizen. Honest citizen that isn't really a cop, doing a cop's work. Ronnie, no! Don't agree to being a policeman! You leave Magic Land, everyone will think that I'm you, and I'll have to work hard like that poor policeman. Oh, boo-hoo! <laughs> Cry me a river. Strawberry, I have no choice. I must go on looking for the magician's school. That's exactly where I have to go. Yes, the magician's school, which we can't even get into just yet. You're wrong way, Strawberry. Person number two. Okay, uh, where's the best place to start with this? Uh, I think, judging from the last time I played, I think going over this way? If I had a car that sounded like that, I'd probably put it through the crusher. Um, there wasn't really, there was some things I wanted to talk about with this game, like the fact that, um, for some reason, you may not have heard me say it in the first video, apparently uh, if you click on the buttons, there is a Hebrew version and there's not many English copies of this game. It's actually quite hard to find. It's probably worth like $45. But honestly, it is a really bad game thinking about it. At the time period, I mean, it looks good for the time period, but Ronnie, this is the place I it's for very, very young children. Did you know that? I think you hate everywhere that includes the word work. The, magic works here. the word but work is terrible. I must look for the magic. And I know I'm talking but over them, but I mean, I'm doing a non-commentator walkthrough, so I figured maybe I could talk a little bit in this one because I didn't do it so much last time. After all, all those who didn't want to learn the secret of the magic ended up here and had to do very hard work. I came here for exactly the opposite reason. I want to find the magic, and I'm ready to work. Come well, to the construction area and wait for instructions. 
You weren't very specific, you just sort of popped your head up and just like, oh yeah, you can work for us, sure, we'll make you work for free. Why not? It sounds very familiar to my life. Okay. What an interesting place. I wonder what kind of work they do Oh, there. this is a very... Your attention, please. Uh. Box boys, get ready to paint and form a line. I actually hated this bit as a kid, honestly. I mean, I enjoyed playing it as a kid, but this section of the game I really hated because it was extremely simple and it was also really annoying. The only thing is, he never tells you if you start from bottom to top, and that's one thing that always confused me as a kid. Do I start from the bottom? Do I start from the top? Because I always assumed that you'd start from the bottom. Which you do? Yeah, you do start from the bottom. I've messed it up already. I I couldn't remember from the last way it was. I'm going to have to redo the wall now. And the sad part is I'm going to have to watch them slowly agonizing walk across this wall doing it one by one. And it... <laughs> it's terrible. Can I get them to redo that part of the wall? I don't think I can. So now I'm going to have to stand here and redo the wall. I could never remember, and that's one thing I hate. I can never remember if it's the bottom or the top of the wall that starts first. And he never tells you. And that annoyed me as a kid. Because what I did just now is what happened. And I remember in my last episode, uh, which was actually the beginning of this, I knew which way around it was supposed to be. Oh, it's supposed to be purple. I'm going to mess it up even more. But he's purple anyway, so it doesn't matter. And, yeah, I got it right in the last episode, but apparently in this episode I'm not going to get it right, even though I'm restarting the game. But, I guess I can hinder on for a few. But, um, yeah, I guess I was wanted to talk about at the beginning about my videos being demonetized, and a lot of people were getting their videos demonetized, so. Unfortunately, that is what's happening to all of us, so I've had to rethink a lot of content and be careful about what I say and do on the channel. But I've actually, I was actually really concerned at first because I wasn't too sure what I would create and put up, but now I actually have a really good idea. So I have a Christmas video that's going to be coming out and I have a little surprise. I don't know how well this surprise is going to work out. I'm hoping it's going to be really good, but um, I'll wait and see. I don't want to announce it just yet. I'm actually pretty proud of it because I've been wanting to do uh, the series in a long time and I just haven't got around to doing it and it looks like I will be doing it now and it should be con hopefully advertiser friendly I mean but I don't know what's advertiser friendly anymore because apparently Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are not kid friendly anymore but Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are very hit and miss because sometimes I can be child friendly then other times they're not. Will he start at the bottom of the wall? Please start at the bottom of the wall. No? You're not gonna do the bottom of the- The work here is really hard. We haven't painted the wall properly. I'll come back here later. No! No, I don't want to come back here later. So are we done? Oh, I gotta actually walk out and walk back in again. Let's do this wall. Strawberry, go back into the construction area and see to it that the wall is painted properly. Any wall that is only partly painted or is not properly painted is washed clean and you have to start all over again. You wash down the whole entire wall for one little segment? I don't know. That seems really, really weird. Wouldn't you just wash down the segment that wasn't right and the walls change complete colors? I don't know, Strawberry has been. Box boys, jump! Box boys, box boys. They're not even boxes, they're like fried rice containers. <laughs> oh, it's so tedious watching this. And repetitive music doesn't help. Generally, I love these older games, but I played a lot of Pajama Sam games and um, Putt Putt games. Freddy Fish games. What were some other ones? I played a lot of adventure games when I was a kid. And of course, I didn't realize the people who made um, Pajama Sam were also involved with the series of Monkey Island. Which will probably 
not being continued on this channel. So slowly but surely, some of my videos will be being removed, which makes me sad, except for Nightmare Creatures, because I actually do want to keep that one on my channel. I have had finished that game and I want to upload it, but yeah, it was a great game. I honestly want to keep the greatest games on this channel, even though they're going to be demonetized. And I'm going to be keeping, oh, I'm going to be keeping um, Ninja, Ninja Turtles, because that's pretty much what started my channel. You stick Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and anything, and apparently it's really popular, and I wasn't expecting it. Especially that particular game, because I think uh, it wasn't really so much a high demand, like it was a great arcade game, but as far as Ninja Tales go, usually the NES or anything original is something that people keep in mind with, with Ninja Turtles. And I wanted to do more, I actually decided for Christmas that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the little Christmas hats, because they do have a Christmas thing, I was initially going to do that for a Christmas video. But because of demonetization, I've had to reconsider that. But I've got another Christmas video coming out, which will be uploaded shortly. Hopefully. How long have I been spending on this silly wall? I think I've spent nearly like 10 minutes just on this wall alone. Which is kind of sad. This video is probably a little bit longer than the last one. Which I think I got up to the wall in the last segment. But at least the wall looks... It... I don't know, it looks not wall-ish. I don't even know. Is it actually a brick wall? Maybe it is, I don't know. These containers are making me hungry. <laughs> they got paint in them and I've never seen a container with paint. It's really This game is really weird. It's made by Scops. This wall looks like it's painted properly. It looks like a wall. Great! All the rows of bricks are painted the right colours. Congrats! I guess. And then we'll get the barrel of nectar. Which we give to the bird. We'll give it to the bird later on. If I can remember how I play the rest of the game. And I keep forgetting how to walk out of this stupid wall segment. I'm just sitting here waiting for him to walk out. You're a very big person. That's a very small barrel. Here is a barrel of nectar from the finest flowers. It's yours. This is your pay for your work today. Thank you, Mr. Foreman, and goodbye. You eat nectar? I don't know. I mean, if you gave me honey or peanut butter, maybe I'd, I'd eat it, but nectar. No wonder I give it to the bird. Okay, who else can we annoy briefly? Um, I think that was where the School of Magic was, so we'll just leave that area for now. I'm as happy as happy can be. I love a Greta and a Greta loves me. Something like that. I'm as happy as happy can be. I love a Bretta and a Bretta loves me. It's a Bretta. It was a Greta. Oh there you dear. go. He's in love with her too. How ironic, because he's a sh he's a heart. He's in the shape of a heart. I love it when you actually break his heart. Isn't that amusing? Pun, pun, pun. Really bad pun. Really corny. Bad pun. I need to learn to be more entertaining. Okay, um, I think... I think maybe there was a mission with this one, not too sure. That is a really blurred thing. Ronnie, this vegetable vendor is very grumpy. Watch out. I've already learned that no one is angry without a reason. What have you done to the vegetable vendor? There are two kinds of fruits and vegetables in Magic Land. One kind is for eating, and the other kind is for magic. The fruit for eating is grown in the natural way, but the magic fruit and vegetables grow in Abra, the great magician's garden. And they are alive and intelligent creatures, just like me. Okay. Abra breathes life into fruits and vegetables. That's right. But what did you do to the vegetable vendor? Oh my goodness! I dressed up as a food vegetable, 
I scared the basket heads a little, so the vendor had to stop selling strawberries. You? It's you again? That I voice change. Near my stand, but I have a surprise in store for you today and every day. I no longer have strawberries on my stand where you can hide and frighten the customers. Hey, Mr. Vegetable Vendor. I just bought a new shipment of fresh fruits and vegetables. Come here and get them. All you have to do is fill the customer's orders and give them exactly what they ask for. Hey, I know his customers, the basket heads. If you give them what they want, you'd better give them a push. Otherwise, they won't move. What? What? <laughs> you have customers that come in and you give them what they want and they don't move? What the heck is a pepper? Heads of garlic. No, I don't want heads of garlic. Tomatoes. What? How am I supposed to tell the difference between a pepper and... Apples. They're apples? Cherries. They're cherries. Where's the peppers? Cucumbers. They're cucumbers? <laughs> what are these? They're peppers. They don't look like peppers. I think he said he wanted five. I'm so busy distraught about the fact that these shapes. I think he said five. There you are. Now you can go. Thank you very much. I'm going. Um. This is what you get when you have a poorly designed game. You don't Please know poor. Ears of corn. How many? Eight. Okay, I know what the ears of corn are now, but initially I thought they were bananas. Wait, they are bananas! So, the corn orange? Ears of corn. What? 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 The, the, the corn is orange! Why is the corn orange? I don't remember this as a kid. This is terrible. Five. Six. Seven. I don't want cucumbers, I want the corn! <laughs> the orange corn, it's not natural. <laughs> Why is it orange? Now you can go. Thank you very much. I'm going. I don't know why the fruit stall vendor is allowing Strawberry Magic to serve its customers knowing that Strawberry Magic was horrible, but okay. Please give me carrots. Okay. <laughs> Are the carrots actually orange? Carrots. They are actually orange. I was scared for a minute. I was concerned that the carrots might not be orange. <laughs> go on, off you go. Take take your your skank ass carrots. Actually, the corn looks like it's had a bit of a problem in the past. I'm playing a little bit longer than last time just because I didn't get far last time. Strawberry, I see you've made some very nice sales. I must have made a lot of money today. What? Where's the money? Do you mean to tell me that you sold the vegetables and didn't ask for money? You didn't tell me to ask for money. Oh, sir, you said to give the basket heads exactly what they asked for. And that's exactly what I did. They came up every time and said, give me... So I gave them. Now you listen to me, you shrimp. Even when I begin to believe that strawberries can change, the sad truth blows up in my face. What a fool I was to depend on a strawberry. I won't talk to the strawberries again until you give me back the money. Hooey! Okay. I just upset somebody. You didn't tell me to ask for money. just to give it to them. But I mean, logic does tell you with the money. I don't even know how you ask for money, honestly. I don't even remember how we get money in this game. What's another quick one we can do? Um, let's go and make cakes. Make cakes or do the bird? Make cakes, do the bird. Uh, actually, the cakes are kind of tedious. The gate is closed and the breeder bird is guarding the garden. 
breeder bird. Did he say breed as in it's breeding? I'm sorry, I can't come over and open the gate for you. I have to mind the eggs until they hatch in pairs. In pairs? Your eggs at um um Oh my goodness. The little sweetheart sleeping so peacefully inside the eggs. They'll soon become adorable little chicks. Yay! Oh my goodness, what is that? Do not disturb! Quiet, please! Look, Strawberry. Inside my eggs, little chicks are growing. Abra asked for a pair in each color. I really tried hard to plan things so that there will be two of each color. I tried to peek inside the eggs, but Shelly, who guards the eggs, won't let me disturb them. That's right. She always comes looking and disturbs them. What? The chicks need their rest. She opens the eggs and immediately forgets the chick's color. Strawberry, I really do want to know if every chick has a partner. When you do find a pair, their shells will get colored in the same color. That way I won't be worried. You forget your own babies and somehow you plan it, your birth of your babies, which is really weird. Alright, let's have a look. Let's have a look at these eggs. Blue. Red. Yellow. <laughs> Purple. Okay. Green. Blue. Wait, is this one like a, a purple blue or blue purple? I don't know. Do they match? Okay, they do match. That's concerning. The colors just looked a little bit off. Green. I don't even remember which one was green myself. There you go. That was blue. This one's green. No, it's yellow. I can't remember. Oh, I got a red one. Here we go. I'm getting pears. It's orange. No, another one's purple. Well, there you go. Ain't that something? Oof. Purple. Purple. Blue. Blue. There you go. Everyone is a pear. Happy now? Weird looking beak bird. Open the gate. What's Abra doing with these chicks? I'm a little concerned. Is he like eating them or or Wait, breeding them? I'll be right there to open the gate. Please do. I don't remember what's behind the gate. Oh my! I'm pretty sure she could have opened. That does not look natural. That's open now, so. Hey, it's a magician. He could save Excuse me a ton of time. Excuse me, Strawberry, just a moment. Are you going into the garden by any chance? Yes. Hey, who are you? I finally met someone among all these strange creatures who talk like one thing and look like something else. Who's a magician? A real magician! Creatures who look like one thing and talk like something else? Pardon me for asking, but you don't look exactly like you sound. I know! I look so funny only because I had to find the magic! What's so funny about looking like me? You look like that because you are looking for the magic? I'll let you in on a secret. You and your friends in this weird place really do need first-rate magic, so as not to look the way you look. You're a magician, aren't you? That's right. I'm a magician. That's my profession. I learned hundreds of tricks and illusions, and when I appear on the stage with my rabbit, everyone thinks that everything is real. But between you and me, everything is an illusion. You know, the hand is quicker than the eye. But I'm telling this only to you, because you belong to this world. 
and you'll never get to my world, and you won't be able to reveal this secret to my audiences. You mean you don't have any real magic at all? That's right. It's all illusions. Look, time is passing quickly, and I have to appear in the circus in a little while. My rabbit decided that he doesn't want to appear with me anymore and be part of my act with its false magic tricks. He ran away to this place. He says that the real magic is only here. I have to find him and get him out of this weird place. If I see a rabbit, I'll catch it and bring it back to you. Good luck to that. Anyway, we are going to call it quits here, and thank you for watching. I will continue on with this in the new year. It is being continued. I'm sorry that I don't get videos uploaded that quick. Yes, I do want to keep the magic. I... Ugh, no! I want to keep it. Do I save this? I don't even know how to save this. We'll just go in and go back out again. But yet, Strawberry, don't forget. If you see my rabbit, tell him to come back to me. I don't care about your rabbit, okay? But yes, guys, I will be continuing on with this. I can't believe I pressed on no, but I think that's because it's a. I'm running this on a virtual machine because I couldn't get it to work on um, Windows 95. Yes. I do. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll continue this in the new year and I have some specials coming up very shortly so keep an eye out.